I had a pleasure to be a co-investigator on a phase two horizon study that investigated novel alkylating agent malfufan in combination with dexamethasone. In this study, uh, they showed that patients with heavily pretreated advanced multiple myeloma had response rates uh, in a range of 30%, and something called clinical benefit rate, where not only patients who respond to treatment, but also patients who have minimal response or, uh, are included. That was about 45%. Uh, patients uh, had progression-free survival, meaning how long they stayed without uh, progression of the disease, about four months. But their overall survival was close to a year. Uh, to put these numbers into a context, that's uh, very favorable considering how heavily patients were uh, pretreated. They had been exposed and refractory to standard of care regimens like pomalidomide and daratumumab. Actually, 80% of patients had so-called triple refractory uh, disease. And a third of patients had uh, extramedullary plasma cytomas, which typically indicate very highly aggressive behavior of multiple myeloma. A lot of people ask us uh, how melflufan is different from other alkylators that are available for treatment of multiple myeloma. As you may know, melfalan was actually a very first drug ever approved for multiple myeloma dating back to 1960s. Melflufan is novel in a way that it is a peptide conjugated uh, alkylator. By conjugating it with peptide, it makes molecule very easy to penetrate into cancer cells. And then multiple myeloma cells that are very rich in peptidases can cleave the molecule, releasing very highly cytotoxic um, alkylator payload. Uh, that type of uh, construct of the molecule makes it better tolerated. There is less systemic exposure. So we don't see nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or loss of hair as common side effects. So very few patients had these side effects and they were usually mild. We do see hematologic toxicity, meaning low platelets, low white cell count. That's pretty typical for alkylators. Uh, but on the other hand, we don't see much of bleeding or infectious uh, complications, which would be a clinically meaningful uh, type of events related to low blood counts. I would suspect it well. Again, it's more potent and better tolerated molecule. Uh, right now, it's not available for patients for treatment other than on a clinical trial, but next year, based on the Horizon study results, um, company will be seeking FDA approval and this will become uh, one more option available for patients. In the future, we'll probably see combinations of melflufen with other standard of care regimens.